Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back for another video. Hey, I've been wanting to cover quant for a while because quant, if you follow me on other platforms, you know that quant is in my one of my top five buys for the bear market, which we are out of the bear market, but that was one of my top five buys. It is still one of my top five buys as we are into 2024. And so I wanted to take a look at the charts and I do want to make regular content, maybe on a weekly basis with quant, which if you're here for, if you're here for the quant content, smash up that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment in the comment section. But I wanted to give some general thoughts with quant. Top five, top five cryptos. I believe it's gonna go much higher than where it is now. I've been getting questions about quant because quant has been lagging behind, it seems. I would argue against that, but it seems that quant has been lagging behind as we have seen a new narrative form, which I don't think a lot of people realize, with airdrops, with Celestia, with Injective. Uh, we've seen Solana do very well as money flowed into the system and out with meme coins. And yet quant is just kind of ranging, it's staying here. And so what can we expect for quant moving forward? Well, on a broader scale, I do want to give, tell you that I have a price target video for quant dropping, dropping on January 22nd. So January 22nd, next week from the time that I'm making this video, come back here and you will see a quant video. But further out, I just this is more of a broader perspective. And then next time I make a video on quant, I will zone in. And I've identified five zones where quant has been historically. And we are currently in the zone that quant has mostly spent its time in. So if you were around in 2021, I mean, quant just was insane. This chart starts doesn't start before 20, the, the summer of 2021, but quant was all the way down to $20. And then Bitcoin crashed in May of 2021 from like $60,000 down to $30,000. And then I just remember throughout that summer, quant just doing its own thing. And so I have some famous well-known sayings that many of you could repeat, quant does what quant does, quant's the honey badger, quant don't care. And I've generally found that to be true. Now when quant got up to 400 something dollars, there were people who truly were, were convincing themselves that quant was never gonna come down, which was absurd. And then we had, I mean, my goodness, 20 straight weeks of quant going down, pretty much, and then a little, very little very little in terms of the upside, but again, back in this range where quant has historically been, until we reached a bear market bottom where you sound an amazing, found an amazing deal on quant at $40, but then right back into the range. And a lot of cryptocurrencies, a lot of assets just really like being in a range. And so very recently, a few weeks ago, we went to the top of the range, got rejected there, and then went right back down, not all the way back down to the bottom of the range, but right now we're kind of in the middle of the range. So what's going to happen? My general thought is we are going to stay in this range for the next several weeks or even months. And I don't know if that's disappointing to you, but I'm not disappointed hearing that or thinking that, I, should, I suppose. It's just more time to accumulate quant because let me tell you something. Once we actually do break out of this range, once we break through this $155 resistance for quant, we have spent, there is very little that's going to be holding us back. And when it comes to what, to new all-time highs? Well, no, not to new all-time highs yet. In 2024, at least, I don't think Quant's gonna hit a new all-time high in 2024. But, you know, given the tokenomics, given the, the fact that we do not have a highly inflationary supply with Quant, and given the fact that we have spent so little time in this range, and then very little time in this range, we could quite well, once we break through here, $155, just blast off to the stratosphere. And so where am I thinking that we're gonna go with quant? Again, I'm gonna make a video talking about that, a price target in, um, in the future, in the next week. Um, I would certainly see a 1.618 retrace as on the table and probably a 2.618 at $1,059. And I have landed, Without really crunching the numbers and really thinking about it, I have landed on about a $1,000 quant as a price target. Now, I wanna be clear about something. I've gone into my price target videos and I have come in with a, a, a certain mindset as to where I think this cryptocurrency is gonna go. And then I actually crunch the numbers and I look at you know historic market cap dominance among other things and do I think this is gonna have more or less market cap dominance, things like that. And um, I have come to surprise myself many times. 
So I'm seeing price targets for quant at $5,000, at $10,000, at $12,000. I think that's absurd. I really do. But who knows? Maybe when I make my price target video, I'll have a different mindset. I, I really don't think I'm going to come to that same conclusion, though, of a $5,000 quant. But it is what it is. I'm bullish on quant. I'm excited about it. I see many X's in the future, but we've got to range for a bit. All right, so be patient, not financial advice. After the Bitcoin halving, and perhaps even after Bitcoin crosses its all-time high, whenever that is, I think we're going to see quant do very well. Until then, keep stacking because, you know, we love quant, right? So, all right, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you Hit that follow button, hit the notification button, smash up that like button, leave a comment for the algorithm, and I will see you next week if you are here for that quant content. Peace.